Hi guys, this is Steve O, this is Tarantula Tastic Enclosures and this is the Green Bottle Blue Care Guide. Hi guys, welcome back. Right today we are doing the Green Bottle Blue Care from slings, little ditty ones, to adult females. Um, we're gonna, because I've got 14 of these, it's good for you guys because you get to see every single stage of growth because I've got basically every, all of them in every single stage of growth. Um, I really, really love growing these spiders on. They are awesome. Um, the colour changes and as they get older and older is absolutely phenomenal. Plus, you get all that awesome webbing and everything else. So, without further ado, we're going to get right down into it. So, we've got a nice little selection of green belt blues to have a look at. So, we're going to start off with the little ones. Right, so we're starting off with the ditty. Little tiny little cutie. Now this has had about two months, I think. As you can see, it's just in a little tub. Nothing major. It's no water bowl or anything. What I usually do is just put a little pipette, tiny little bit of water on the web. Keep it really, really dry. As you can see, if they stayed this colour right up until adult, it'd still be awesome. And we've got a feeding clip of this one just here. is a big fat one this enclosure she's gonna molt so we're gonna rehouse this one very soon but just it was a gift so we just put a, done a little temporary enclosure for this one just basically until it molts as you can see it's really 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 due a molt but the webbing's going crazy on that one And this one here, so you can see it's just down the side. We're actually going to rehouse this one. We're going to set up an enclosure because it's getting quite big. But it just goes to show it doesn't need to be in anything elaborate. I've just put a little branch in there. It's nice and arid, no humidity, plenty of ventilation in the tub. I'm going to keep it nice and dry. Still with these ones, just a bit, spray a little bit on the webbing once a week. But we'll really house that one in a minute. Now, if you watch my Bug Bunks video, it's a little bit of an update on what the Green Bottle Blue's done in here. Now, this one was probably about the size of the one you've just seen in the tub, but it's hidden itself in the zombie hide. For a molt, as you can see, the webbing is starting to look absolutely awesome. It's a good update for the tanks as well. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Alright, so now we've jumped to few molts this is a large GV you can see how this she's starting to lose the color on her abdomen more adult colors but it's good to see this one because I actually put a succulent in here for an experiment months ago 
and because it's a dry arid build and those plants don't need much water it's really really doing well but I sort of planned it that still a cricket in there <laughs> but sort of planned it so she'd sort of make a hide that way and then keep the plant sort of away from the webbing but the experiment works and the plant's doing all right so we're going to start trying to introduce sort of air plants and other bits and pieces into the build but as you can see she doesn't really use the hide at all she sort of built her own sort of web tunnel around the outside Another one, as you can see, look, we've got a skull hide around the side there. She decided not to use it and she's created her own web tunnels all the way around. This is a major thing about these spiders, they don't really if you put a hide in there, they won't use it, they'll create their own. But that's a really, really heavy web hide. So we can get a better look at it. It's not far off the one size we've just seen. There's like masses of webbing. We also got feeding video with this one coming up right now. Now we come to the big girls. Adult female number one in the terminating enclosure. And now this is why I love these spiders. With the arid build, you're not sort of forced into high humidities or whatever. So they're really, really easy to build for. As you can see, it's lost all that color on the abdomen. Just looking awesome now. Now this has turned out awesome. Another adult female. I actually use water dishes for the adults and the GVs. Some of them are really annoying and they'll just web over any water dish. So sort of try and figure out where it's going to web up and then put it to the side. So it's a water dish there. Terminator one's got a water dish there, which is a horrible water dish for the enclosure. It doesn't see it at all. So we're going to try and find a, a, um, a rocky water dish for that one. As you can see, if you plan your enclosure out nicely, you're going to get a stunning effect. We go with the alien. Now she's done a lovely job in there, and this has really made the enclosure what it is. That's another small female in there. So it's not quite adult, so you can see the colours on the abdomen are still there a little bit. With this one, I just spray a little bit of water on the web. She's doing fine. She's been in there ages now, over a year. Now we're coming to the Myers house. Behind all that webbing is the Myers house front door. It's another female. Very, very due a malt. But this is the sort of thing I mean. They really sort of make the enclosure 
look awesome. Got a water dish down the front there, away from the webbing. So, right, a lot of the ones you see for sale on um, Spider Shop or whatever are always four to five centimetre green bottle blues. So this is what's roughly in that tub there. So you need it really, really dry, really, really bone dry. If you can, um, cut the substrate straight off the cocoa fibre block. Now this has been dried out by me. So we've got dry, really bone dry moss in there. Also with the branches, I've cut melted them, glued them to the bottom of the tub so they stay in one place. That way, I can imagine this green bottle blue will probably go in now and create a nice little web tunnel around. This one, could add a water dish, but I tend to find just a little bit of water on the web once it's webbed up, and they do absolutely fine. They're, very, they're almost allergic to water, especially humidity. Too much humidity can, uh, they, they won't do well. So what the main thing is, loads of anchor points, so you get some nice webbing, they can create a nice little web tunnel. That's it. They're probably right, as long as you stick to that, they're probably one of the easiest tarantulas to keep. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, rehouse this one now. Now I wouldn't call green bottle blues aggressive really. They're more run and hide. They can be really, really skittish, a bit bolty. Um, definitely not one for trying to handle. I don't really handle my tarantulas, but um, these these ones will just tend to bolt everywhere or hide. You'll find that as soon as you get them, um, when you open the enclosure, usually they just hide. So I'm gonna take that out and we're gonna have a good look at this one. So that's usually the size, a little bit of hair cooking. Yeah, they do flick a lot of hairs. As I said, they're usually run and hide rather than stand and fight. So we're gonna see if this one plays ball. And just runs into there. What we've done, we've got a pot, tub, and we've um, the pot inside that tub. So usually if they do bolt over the sides or whatever, they're gonna run into one of the corners rather than run across the room and then you've got to be chasing it around the kitchen. You can either that or do it in the bathroom. That's a really good place to rehouse your teas, especially old weld. nice and gently see nice oh. how gentle was that there we go You see, they'll go and find a little crevice or something that they can hide in. And then start webbing up everywhere. So guys, I really hope you really, really enjoyed that video and um, you liked the little stages of little diddy ones right up until the adult ones that are up there and there and there. <laughs> um, 
as I said with these, try and keep them really, really arid. Um, I've seen some people ask on Facebook and stuff why um, the green bulb blue won't go down onto their sub. It could be because your substrate's too wet. Um, they really like it sort of bone, bone dry. If you're getting one of these, try and set up your enclosure and dry it out before you get your green bottle blue. Add, I tend to add my water dishes at a later date because 99% of the time the green bottle blue is just going to web over you, the water dish, which makes it a hassle. Refilling, um, cleaning out your water dish and stuff. So I try and add it at a later date once they start webbing. During that period of time, you can just add a little bit onto the webbing or a bit on um, the cork bark or whatever is in your enclosure, just so they have to have something to drink. But um, I usually add the water dish a little bit later so we can sort of figure out where they're gonna, cause it's, a lot of them will just web in one corner of your, your enclosure. So we can actually put it away from the webbing, which makes life so much easier when you're refilling your water dishes and everything else. Also experiment with those air plants. You saw that I had a succulent in one of the enclosures and that's doing really well because I added that away from where I knew the green bottle blue was gonna web. Try with um, succulents and stuff. You can't use normal um, plants and stuff because they'll require constant watering. Um, the succulents, air plants and stuff will will suit a nice um, arid environment. Also, um, once they're adults, have some fun. Um, whatever enclosure you build for these guys, they will web up and make it look even better, as you saw from the Shallow Grave, Terminator, Alien, the Michael Myers builds. The webbing has really, really made the enclosure. This is why I love Green Bottle Blues, because you, they're a good display spider as well. You'll always see them out unless they're going away to molt. They're usually out all the time. The two adult females out all the time. The um, alien, where well, that's probably sub-adult female, she's out all the time. And the Michael Myers build, she's out all the time. They usually only go away and hide when they're going off to molt. Um, hides, as you can see, um, you saw from another one, Usually you give them a hide and they won't use it. They'll create their own web tunnel. But if you add branches, stuff like we did on that rehouse, I know that that green bottle blue will go in and web a nice little web tunnel and create its own hide, which at the end of the day actually looks cooler. I've had so many green bottle blue tarantulas where I've added a hide and they never use it and they'll use, they'll create something around the side or something instead. So always add something that they either can create a hide or if you want, add a hide as well, but I guarantee they'll probably make their own. They, they just like to do their own thing. Uh, as I said, keep nice and dry. Um, it's really, really cool if um, you can find the little tiny slings because they're really, really, really cool to, to see the full color change right up into an adult. This is what they're so good about these and this is why they were my favourite. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please comment down below. Um, if you've had any experiments with um, putting plants or anything else into your enclosures, please um, tag me in on Facebook or Instagram. I'd really love to see um, your experiments. Also, go mad on your final enclosure because it will be worth it it will be like a showstopper like the shallow grave one i knew that the tarantula would build um a hide into the rib cage of the shallow grave or just well it was one of those things i was praying for and everything sort of panned out and now it's looking absolutely awesome and she's not even finished webbing it up yet apart from that guys Thank you very, very much for watching. Please comment down below. I love reading all your comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. It notifies you of upcoming video. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me. Apart from that, guys, I shall see you later.